Let's talk about psyllium husk, the uses, the dosage, and potential side effects, and what to do to counter that. So psyllium seed comes from the plant, Plantago ovata. And psyllium, out of all the fibers, has the most soluble fiber, which means when you add water, it gels up. So it's the gel effect that stimulates the peristalsis or the pumping action of the large intestine so you can eliminate better. So psyllium seed is mainly used as a laxative. It's good for constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, high blood pressure, heart disease. And I'm going to put some links down below of the research so you can see. Also, it's good for diabetes. It has the potential to significantly reduce blood sugars after eating. And number six, it can reduce cholesterol. Now, the amount that you would need in a given day would be about seven grams a day. And you would mix that with water and drink it on down. So you want to make sure that you consume more water to decrease these side effects right here. And if you ever notice when you eat a big salad, a lot of times you're thirsty. That's because the body is telling you we need more water to create that gel effect. Now, another side effect from psyllium seed would be having an allergy to it, okay? Also, psyllium seed has a potential of decreasing iron in your body, which actually is not really a problem for most people because most people have too much iron. Also, it has the potential of decreasing vitamin B2 and decreasing the absorption of fat. And if you have constipation and you want the complete list of some of the best natural remedies for constipation, check out this video on this page.